Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my Tenipack Minecraft Let's Play. I'm in fact recording this immediately after the previous episode, but that episode was quite long so I shall record another one. Record a new one. So what I would like to do this episode is to upgrade these engines to electrical engines because they're really slow. Um, and of course my wrench is in this chest. Get that. Hopefully I have all the components. But I shall request um, three electric engines. Request successful. Sweet. And now I can watch, well now we can watch them be made. So there's the wood and iron and cobblestone for the piston. Um, lots of pistons. Let's see what's going to be next. What's this one? That is the gears. So gears are being made. Um, what's this one? Oh, more gears. And they're all just stockpiling it up and we should see them being made. Yep, there we go. So, as this machine is a little bit overloaded, like it's, oh, maybe not the furnace, but the macerator is being queued up. Things are being queued up. So, what I should just do is a direct swap and I will need... Will I need anything else? No, I won't. I will just need to... Oh, of course, because it's, it's there. Right. Um, this so much, actually, I don't need upgrading. Um, and actually this, but uh, I think I'll swap this one anyway. Um, that's not receiving power because it's not connected. So I shall grab a glass fibre cable and quickly just hook it up. Um, you can see my trunk loading block just uh, hidden away to make it look a bit neater. See if I can do that. There we go. And then just uh, cover this up again. Sweet. And uh, electric engines, as you can see, will pull out. I think it's a stack, in, as opposed to just one item. Let's see, three. Oh, perhaps this is, this is a bad example. But yeah, um, a lot better than redstone engines. And uh, might as well just replace this one as well. While I am here. Uh, so, oh, don't want to do that. That uh, don't want to get rid of that one. Um, this is this connected? No. Dig down again. Um, let's just take this round. Oh, what's that touching? Oh, that should be alright. Hopefully, nothing will blow up as it so frequently does for me. It's nice, like, cheers, cheers game. Much appreciated. Um, it's actually too low. Let's take this up another one. And now, do that. Yeah, there we go. So now we have um, upgraded our sorting, uh, our um, processing system. So it's been more efficient. Don't really need to upgrade this because I rarely use the extractor because I seem to have enough rubber for now. So, what I would like to do this episode is to upgrade to, well, firstly, change these into dark matter, which luckily is relatively easy. I already have some here. And the way that condensers work is that anything in here is automatically. Um, what's it transformed into whatever this target thing is? So if I do this, well, if I do this, then they won't automatically transform into diamonds because they're already diamonds. But if I place a dark matter orb here, as you can see, they're rapidly being used and transformed into dark matter. They're being um, transmuted into dark matter. Is the what I was looking for. So we should get quite a lot considering how many diamonds we have. Um, for now, I'll just take this out. And the first item that I would really like to craft is a swift water rending gale. And as you might know from other Let's Plays, um, Let's Players rather, uh, this lets you fly. But actually, seeing the ingredients, first of all, I would like to make a Vulcanite amulet, which is three dark matter and six lava buckets. And this is very handy when it comes to being in the nether or digging randomly because it protects you from lava and fire and allows you to go swimming in lava which is pretty nice. Uh, so I need lava bucket. Um, should I be sneaky? 
or should I do it properly? Uh, let's go to the nether. We haven't been to the nether in ages. Just make some iron buckets. Actually, I don't need to take these with me. Um, could of course make them out of tin, but I don't know. Just rather do it this way. Oops. That should be enough. Um, put that there, that there, that back in here. Yeah, whatever. That'll do. And then let's head off into the nether. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, before this guy turns into oh, too late. Will I make it? Will I make it? Will I make it? Yeah, made it. So just wait for this to load a little bit. And here we are, back in the nether. The last time I was here I was very, very under equipped, poorly equipped I should say, to deal with the nether. Uh, just quickly lay back so I don't get lost. Um, because if I so wished I could mine these nether ores but it would result in these pigmen attacking me and at the time I think I either had iron armor or no armor so how am I going to do this? It's quite a bit closer, not there um, let's just go down to the bottom and then uh, work my way up so let's whoop, let's not uh, go charging off that quickly. Um, let's go over this way. Hmm. Oof. Definitely not lag. That would be not good. Um. Ah, screw it. There we go. Just jump down. So just take these buckets. Um. Let's put this there. One. Can I replenish it this way? No, it doesn't work like water. Two, three, four. Right. We have our lava. Excellent. And now we just have to get back up there, which seems a lot easier now that I'm this side of the massive red... Um, what's it called? Netherrack. So just see if I can mine my way up. And uh, maybe get some ores on the way. Because if the... Ah, whoop. One thing I did need to mention um, with nether ores is that if you don't mine them quick enough, they explode. So that's nice. Um, and you may have seen, or heard rather, a pigman make an angry snort. Uh, yeah, he's going to come and attack me. Like so. Oh, two of them. Come at me, bros. So, for example, if I were to mine just that one, and then leave it, we should see it... No? It's not going to explode? Huh. Maybe it... Oh. There we go. I heard the fuse light there as if it were a TNT or a creeper or something. Um, yes, the Technic Pack, the Technic pack includes the nether ores mod and so oh hello it's a very <laughs> oh I thought they were going to try and attack me but the pathing wouldn't let them are they going to attack me no there the uh, nether ores mod is in the tenant pack and oh the better dungeons mod of mob over there and you do get nether dungeons which are pretty cool but anyway uh, and Part of that mod includes nether diamond, which is a lot more common in the nether than it is in the real world. So, I might come back here to mine some diamond in the future. But for now, I have the buckets of lava, and so let's make ourselves a vulcanite amulet. And not only, not only does it make you immune to lava and fire... No! Oh. Wow. Wow. Thanks, creeper. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's not like I never wanted to go back into the nether. <sighs> Bastard. Ah, oh, damn it, werewolf. Why are you so difficult to kill? And yes, I do know that you should use a gold sword on them, but not like I'm going to carry around a gold sword for just this occasion. Oh, finally. And 
if my eyes did deceive me. Yep, there's a massive, massive, whoop, um, what's it called? Thelm slime over there. So I am going to get attacked by creepers. God, how many creepers around here? Oops. Yes. Ah. Oops. God, these things are strong. But the upside about these giant thumb things... Oh. Okay, they decided not to drop any... Um, what should we call it? Fist crystals. That's a shame. Anyway, now that we have our six lava buckets, let's take these two out. We now put three dark matter across the middle, and then our six lava buckets, like so. And we have a Vulcanite amulet, and we get our buckets back. Sweet. So just put those back. Oh, yes. The nether ores have to be smelted first. In, our, in order to turn them into, well, in this case, redstone. But for example, the nether tin ore turns into tin ore, just basic tin ore. So I'll just go and smelt, no, not another rack. There we go, another tin ore. That appears to be wrong, because that's the redstone colour. I did actually get this in, in Tekkit as well, so that's now a, a dud piece. I'll just turn it into scrap, why not? if it will turn into scrap, and it will. Sweet. That solves that problem. And, oh, there are all the resources from the uh, the dungeon. I'll just um, add this back into the system. So, what the Vulcanite Amulet allows us to do is, firstly, just be careful while using it on my hotbar, um, if, if you press R, it fires a projectile, I don't really want to do it around my house because I want to keep its beauty. Um, let's see. Are there any mobs over here at all? No? Oh, there's a sheep. Perfect. It allows you to fire a projectile with R, which set things on fire. Um, if you right click, uh, let's make it a little. Oh, okay. Right click. Oh, I need to charge it. No? Another one? Nope. Another one. Nope. Full. Okay, you need fuel for it, I've decided, and just discovered. Um, so I'll just go back over to my house. Shouldn't take too long with the nano suit, the quantum suit rather. And grab the Klein Star, which of course would have been in my bag. No? There it is. Right, back to our little island paradise over here. Have a cat. So, hold on, let's um, strain this. Let's see if the charge affects anything. So, right clicking will produce lava. Produce it there and there. Let's do another 3x3. Three three. If you shift click. No, no. Hmm. Maybe if you need to, maybe you need to charge it for this one. Shift click. Yeah, does it in a line. Uh, see if I can make a better example. Oops. Uh, shift click. There we go. Does it in a line. I think that depends on how much charge you have as well. Uh, it does have this bug. There we go. Shift click. And the beauties of this is I can just go. Hup, oh, I can. Well, my controls can spaz out for a bit. Um, yeah, I can walk on lava. Um, in Tech It, multiplayer you just sink through lava, but you still are immune to it. If you press Shift, you can sink through it if you so wished. And of course, I'm going to set fire to this entire area because I just put lava there. So uh, I don't particularly want to do that. So I'll just um, cover it up. And, um, yeah, it also, actually, if it's raining, I think you either need a dark matter pedestal, which I'm not going to make just yet, or if you fire a projectile straight into the air, then it, it turns off the rain, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. 
but I'll find that out at some point. And the other side to the Vulcanite amulet is the Evertide amulet, the water version. So, what I will then now do oops, is get six buckets of water. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And do, I think it's exactly the same recipe as the Vulcanite amulet, but with water buckets. So, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go, the Evertide amulet. And we get our buckets back. This, um, as you can guess, makes you immune to drowning. And also lets you... Nope. Oh, yes, I was just coming too strong. Giggly. Let's you walk on water. Can I... Nope. What if I do it from over here? Yep, there we go. It lets you walk on water. I'm literally just tapping... pressing W once as if I were walking on land. And you can see how quickly I'm, I'm travelling. <laughs> oh, you know what that is though, don't you? It's that annoying dungeon. Yep. Oh, you little bugger. Right. Well, seeing as I have Avatar Amulet, I can quickly swim through water. It's a lot faster. Um, and I can just stand here while he drowns. And as you can see, my air bubbles are going down, but I just I won't drown. I simply won't drown. Oh, probably helps if I have the Avatar Amulet on my hotbar. <laughs> Duh. But yeah, right now I'm not drowning. Um, so I will just yeah let that guy do his business. Um, let's mine that. This dungeon is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Or well, the rest of this world. Oh wow. Because they have a passion for clocks. Yeah, each their own. Did I, did I just like purely miss... Ooh. Well, okay, spacebar makes you shoot up very quickly. Oh wow, yeah there is like an entire side of this dungeon that I missed. Well I can't be bothered to fight all of them so I'm just going to blitz my way through. Go that way. Um, let's take these, take these two chests. If I ask oh, her, they won't let me. Well, yeah, if you're swimming, shift makes you go down quickly, space makes you go up very quickly. And I don't know whether you have to time it precisely, but you can walk on water, as you saw before. Oh, I was going to come bother then. Wee. Okay, it's a little bit weird with the um, the nano suits and all that, but yeah, I think you have to start off at a level at a at the same level as the water, otherwise it won't really work. If you sink, then you go a bit slowly. If you jump, you just splash. Oh, I'm being attacked by a fish. So that's the Evertide amulet and the Vulcanite amulet. They're, oh, actually, I was walking on water. Then. How do I do that? I just have to be gentle. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you can do it from inside the water. Anyway, that's the Vulcanite amulet and the Evertide amulet. And uh, why don't I just carry on making the dark matter tools? Because they're oh yeah, because they're quite fun. So I need four feathers and an iron band. And for the iron band, I need eight iron and the Vulcanite amulet. So I'll just oh quickly uh, sort out my inventory. Uh, let's put it in, in here for now. That'll do. So I need some feathers. One, two, three, four, I believe. And iron. Let's grab the rest of that. And then have the Vulcanite amulet in the center. I don't know whether it has to be fully charged or not, but Nevertheless, if you do this, it removes the charge. Then place that there, dark matter like so, and the feathers, and here we go. Swiss Wolf's Rending Gale. And this allows you to fly. 
It's double spaces if you're in creative mode. And there we go. I am now flying. Guys, we are now flying. Isn't this majestic? And we can see our house from above. It looks quite neat. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, what this allows me to do, what allows us to do, is to explore very quickly. So, Best Dungeons mod, for example, allows for about something like 0 0.01 dungeons per specific area of land or something, which uh, does mean that it takes a long time for us to find any. So this will allow me to explore and hopefully find some uh, some for us, and also to fight these things. So annoying. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, it does use EMC, I should point out. Did I get that? No, where'd it go? There it is. And we got a electrified vis crystal. Sweet. So yeah, this allows us to fly, and it does use EMC, hence why I have my Klein Star. But also we'll use uh, coal, redstone, sulfur, glowstone, and the alchemical coals and that sort of thing. So any form of energy item. I think it uses nickelite as well, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, let's just test it. So that should be the only fuel in my inventory. Yep. Yep, I can still fly. Oh. Nope, okay, it doesn't use Nicolite. There we go, we proved it doesn't use Nicolite. Uh, it's now getting dark, so just make sure all my doors are closed. Well, I'm bad at this. Got all of them were open. Wow. I think I'd be burgled if I had my own house. Like I'm at university. Regardless, anyway, um, don't do that. The next item I would like to build is called um, Archangel Smite. It is this, another iron band, two dark matter, four bows and two feathers. So let's get our um, iron vul and vulcanite amulet out. See if it works with a evertide amulet. No, it doesn't. Right, good to know. Okay, and it doesn't need to be charged. Um, we need some bows. Do I not have one? Nope. But I have lots of wood. And string. And what this little nifty item lets us do is, using EMC, it fires a lot of arrows. Um, and I'll demonstrate it now, because it's now night time, which is quite good. Quite convenient. So let's quickly make two, and then make another two. Oops. Like so. And now place these in the corners. I don't know. Oh, I need feathers, don't I? Yeah, I need feathers. Two feathers. Two feathers. Right, now let's do this. Place the bows in the corners. Dark matter nope, in the ends there. A ring and two feathers. There we go, Archangel Smite. And let's see if this uses EMC, I'm not entirely sure. Um, God, that was going to attack me then. Uh, is there nothing spawning that I can attack? Nope, it looks like you do need EMC. Good to know. So I'll just get the... Where did I put it? There. Try and start back out again. Cool. Yep. And if you press R... Do I... Do I oh, I get arrows. It makes me arrows. Okay. Good to know. Let's convert that back to EMC, probably. If you press R, it's the... Special attack. Did he just fire an arrow at me? Hmm. Yeah, right click just sends a homing arrow. Um, G and R... Whoop. Um, fire quick fire rounds that you have to deactivate and will always be on. Uh, can I change to C? No, G, M, click. No, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's, um, it's homing, so we'll go to the nearest available target, which includes allies, I think, on a multiplayer, as well as non-hostiles like sheep and, and horses and stuff. But we'll, um, as you can see, we'll home in on 
any available target and kill them pretty quickly, which is nice. It's especially useful for the Ender Dragon, which is what I actually used uh, on the Tekkit server when we finally got around to defeating it. Um, let's see if I can find an unfortunate victim to use my quickfire arrows on. <laughs> wow. Nice little flowery pattern there. Now you do have to be careful about lag because as it's generating so many different individual items, well, so many individual items, it can lag your system. So, yeah, word of warning on that. Just be careful. And I think that's it for now. I think that those are all the items that I actually needed or would quite like to have. Um, I think next episode we might get into red matter because look how many dark matter items we now have now that we've converted the diamonds down. So. Yep, um, I'll get involved in some red matter nonsense, and it's, it's quite good. Um, just quickly check if there are any other uses for this that I'm missing out on that I would quite like to make. Um, another, just a reminder, the armor sucks because the better dungeons don't. There's something wrong with the programming, and the better dungeons mobs ignore the um, dark matter and red matter armor, so that would kill you very quickly. Ah, I knew that's something I forgot. Black hole band, which is another ring and some string and dark matter. Let's get rid of that. Bring it up with a lot of arrows at the end of this. So, uh, was it dark matter, string, and the another band? So, we need more iron. So, we just make another band like so. dark matter either side and string around it. There we go, the black hole band. This is a very, very useful item when mining. Um, let's go. Uh, whoop. Okay, this is good. Good, uh, actually, I have an idea. Yeah. Rain fire from above. Oh, didn't mean to kill that cow, never mind. See, I just head back down to the mineshaft and what the black hole band does when activated with G is it will actually I'll just deactivate it for now if I did that see that I'm not close enough to pick it up automatically if I press G they all fly towards me and I have a full inventory so that's why they're not going in and it will continuously float around me, I think, indefinitely, until I have enough inventory space. So here we go, there's a bit of leather following me around. Ooh. So yeah, that is very useful. And if you put it in a bag... Um, items will automatically go into that bag. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. So, mine that piece of cobblestone and it appears in my bag. It's very useful and can be used in partnership with a um, gem of eternal density which I actually made this episode on. Make it a, a dark matter episode. And this is a very very um, useful item. It will condense all of your items down and try and transmute it to the highest value that you can, that is possible. So, for example, if I had 512 pieces of cobblestone, it would make one bar of iron. Um, it requires five diamonds, two dark matter, and two obsidian. So it's not the most, it's not the cheapest item out there. Let's go and find my inventory sack, actually. Let's deposit this. Uh, really? No, no. I'll get some more chests later. So I need, uh, how many dark matter was it? Two dark matter five diamonds and two pieces of obsidian and we craft it as in the recipe like oops, like so and I don't really want to use it in my current inventory but I shall I actually don't want to use it in that one either uh, where's a good example actually I'll just do this for now so I wouldn't mind keeping some of these items because they would be nice to build stuff with. See all these items are floating around me, they will be in my 
alchemical bag. So if I put this in here, it will automatically will turn on and try and condense these cobblestone blocks down to a better item. Turn it on. Uh, as you can see, it's took my iron. Don't want it to do that, so I deactivate it, and it seems to have already condensed down some items. Great. Don't want it to do that. Well, seeing as I've already ruined my inventory, just do that. I think it might need actually a stack of cobblestone to be able to do anything. Oh, really? Another rack? No. This should be working. Let's see why this isn't. Oh, well, is it because it's a large chest and not an alchemical chest? Yeah, <laughs> not doing it in there. Um, let's just quickly get another alchemical chest. The sneaky way. Um, I'll eventually be upgrading my sorting system to, to alchemical chests anyway, so. This is just a matter of time. Put there temporarily. Put this in there. Ah, this looks like it. Yeah, there we go. It needed to be... Uh, oh. Maybe it didn't need to be an alchemical chest. Anyway. Screw it. Uh, this will be my alchemical chest for um, condensing stuff down. Um, okay, now it works. Why is it... Why is it only working now? Ah, maybe a certain threshold, but okay, this will be my condensing chest. And um, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. I made quite a lot of useful things. Yep, this clock will speed up and slow down time, but don't really need that now. Um, there are a few other things, like the zero ring makes everywhere snow. Harvest Goddess will help you um, harvest crops and plant them, but seeing as I already have a, a forestry set up, I don't really need that. So this seems to be all of the dark matter items that I actually care about. Don't need the destruction catalyst, as I've got a pretty good pickaxe, and I'll be eventually creating something that's better, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go into this glorious stuff, red matter, next episode. Um, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode.